Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make camarones a la diabla. I made this once before on the channel, but it was mukbang and very comfortable for my belly. <laughs> but this recipe is going to be comfortable for your home and easy to do. So what are camarones a la diabla? They are devil shrimp. They have a lot of spice and you can make them as spicy as you want, but Mexican folks, we like them really spicy. So let me go ahead and show you how I make them. Before we begin anything, let me go ahead and show you how to make some rice, okay? We're using long grain rice and that's the kind of rice that we're making today. Ready? So I have two cups of rice. Usually per cup, they're gonna tell you to do one full cup of water. And it's just gonna depend on your burner, your pan, and your rice. Pretty much that's what happens. So what I'm gonna say to you is get your two cups of rice. If you're gonna do one cup, I'll keep it in the description for you, but let's just talk about two cups of rice because my family, just as much as families eat beans, my family loves rice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add one and a half cups of water and I'm gonna bring it to a boil. So I'm adding a splash of oil. The reason I'm adding oil is because it helps your, your rice come out shiny, glossy, that really restaurant and fancy look. That's how you get it. How did I learn? That's one thing my mother-in-law did teach me. Oh yeah! <laughs> so we're gonna bring this to a boil and once it boils, we're, I'm gonna move it to the back so that we can put it on a low and just let it simmer. But don't leave just yet. Let me bring it to a boil and then I'll show you what we're gonna do. Okay, so my my rice has come to a boil, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come and mix it with my spoon. Somebody's gonna say that's not how you make perfect rice. Well, that's how I do it homemade so that I never have to worry about mushy or really gross rice. So I'm gonna put a lid on this and I'm gonna set it to the back on a low to a simmer. It's gonna depend on your stove and your burner. So put it on a low or a simmer and then in 10 minutes you're gonna come and see me in a little bit and then I'm gonna show you guys through the recipe what we're doing to the rice, so pay close attention. Okay friends, what we're gonna do first, we're gonna go ahead and blend our sauce ingredients, okay? All the things that you need to know about this recipe are gonna be in the description area with combo one, it'll have the sauce name. I think that's gonna make it a lot easier for you guys when you, uh, when you look in the description area. So go ahead and add your tomatoes. If for some reason you only have one tomato at home, you can still make this recipe. Half of our onion. Our chiles de arbol and our, our chile blend. Thank you so much, Charlene, for the chiles. We love you and I love the chiles. Ooh! <laughs> New Mexico chilies. Yes, girl, yes. We hear it's chili season or it's coming up. Can't wait. Hopefully our supermarkets are roasting these chilies soon. I hope so. If not, I guess we'll roast them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're gonna go ahead and blend this, but we're gonna add a little bit of our water, okay? Get a little scoopy scoop. Of our chili. Yeah, chili you, wanna, you wanna always save your, um, your chili water. So we're gonna add about, um, I wanna say about a cup, cup and a half. Just enough to blend and get that good sauce going, okay? Actually, I'm eyeballing here. Yeah, there we go. It's more like one and a half. Let me get a right because this is pretty hot. Okay, friends, if you're just, if you didn't wait for your uh, chile blend to, to cool, be careful because this can get really hot. So make sure you have a little rag, something, washcloth, whatever you have at home, okay? You guys know we bootleg things sometimes. So if you get washcloths for your kitchen area and keep them there, you're gonna be fine. One, two. Beautiful, look at that. One thing that I'm noticing about the bullet is that it blends it and purifies it a lot better than the big blender that I've been using, so I'm so happy with you. For bullet, cookies, yeah. Right? It's great for uh, cooking and then smoothies, of course. Okay, to a hot pan, what I'm gonna add is I'm gonna add my 
butter and my oil blend. Make sure that smells, that smells, that melts well. <laughs> We're drinking watermelon agua fresca. Yes, yes, it's not spiked today, guys. It is not spiked, but don't tempt me. <laughs> I feel so spoiled that you greet me with fresh water. Oh, you're welcome. Well, you know, since you've been holding it down with our agua chile and your 2.0 agua chile, I mean, that's the least I can do, mija. Oh, it's so good, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> you guys want the 2.0 agua chile, let me know because it is 2.0. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and add our onion. I currently have my heat on a medium and all I wanna do is I wanna caramelize these lovely onions. Make them sweat, yeah. Like Keith Sweat? Girl, don't get me started on some Keith Sweat. Oh, this is not the channel for that <laughs> romance right now, girl. And then you get Robert all worked up. That's how fiery these shrimp are gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> She's blushing. I am, cause Robert's so like, He'll dedicate these kind of songs to Yeah, he, he really <laughs> will. Oh, Like he'll just, uh, he'll text me like certain songs cause he doesn't, he's like tone deaf. Is he really? <laughs> yes. Unless it's Naughty by Nature. Um, yeah, I've heard him sing. He does a pretty good job. <laughs> you know who's tone deaf? Bebe. Bebe is tone deaf, <laughs> my poor baby. <laughs> Chug, chug, chug. Oh, the watermelon is so deliciously sweet. It's sweet today, yeah, yeah. You guys, my bebe, my little guy, he dedicated a song to me, mm -hmm. and I about cried. My sister was there, and we were both like teary-eyed. I had to hold it in a bit, but I did cry. Um, he dedicated the Michael Jackson song to me, that you're not alone. <laughs> <laughs> and he was singing it to me, and all cuddled with me. I couldn't with it my life. It was so sweet, it came yes. out of nowhere. It really did. It's because I love music and it's good to see that they enjoy it as much as I do, you know? Mm -hmm. He got you good with that one. <laughs> he really did. Okay, friends, back to our recipe. Enough with our romance. <laughs> so once you've caramelized your, on not caramelized, once you've uh, sweat your onions a little bit, they've gone translucent, that's when you're gonna add your garlic so that way we don't burn it. And if you really love garlic, go for it. I'm yes, gonna give I you guys <laughs> my suggestion and recommendation um, in the description. I love that combo, garlic and onion. It already smells good, oh, right? Yeah, it smells so delicious. Que rico! So you guys already know what I do with my shrimp. I keep some really big, and then I chop like maybe about six or seven of them, because this is a pound of shrimp. I chop about six to seven of them in smaller bites, and that way you get a little bit more. Cause you know shrimp goes by quick. All of a sudden you're like, I ate a whole pound by myself. Yeah, that's how it works. Oh my goodness, <laughs> <laughs> you're blushing, girl. You're I'm blushing in heaven right now. I'm in heaven. I'm in. Who sings that song? Mm -hmm. Is that a Frank Sinatra? Not the one you're singing. No. Do I, do I sound tone deaf? You do. <laughs> okay, so while this is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle my pepper. You can use white pepper or black pepper. Use black pepper, you're gonna get an extra kick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> If you use extra pepper, then you deserve to get a uh, belt buckle with your initials on it. <laughs> Girl, you're wild. You're so Don't act like you didn't have those belts that went on with your initials in the front or an eagle. Yes, girl, we have the eagle belt buckle. <laughs> that's why we're the eagle sisters. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, that's not why, but yeah, we did have an eagle belt buckle. <laughs> well, you know what? We've been surrounded by eagles our whole life, from figurines to rings with an eagle. 
<laughs> our life is, yeah. Girl, I'm gonna have my my, uh, my botas, my boots are gonna have like um, the spurs that have an eagle and the wings in the back. <laughs> I have plans, guys. I'm gonna be the coolest old lady you guys have ever seen. So go ahead and mix your shrimp around. Ooh, it's dancing. Nice and bright out today. Thank goodness. Yeah. Lots of good light coming in. Ooh, some beautiful looking shrimp. It's because these shrimp were organic. Usually when I don't want to clean my shrimp, guys, I buy the Kroger Organic Simple Truth Shrimp. And guess what? There is no cleaning the pooper. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. It, yeah, uh huh. That's they're okay. so fresh. Those are the ones that I used for that one too. Yeah, I think they have a little bit more of a natural, sweeter. Well, they're organic, so. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, friends. So at this point, once you turn your shrimp and mix them around, go ahead and add your salt. And your salt is going to be to taste. I'll give you guys a starter uh, version of it. There's your timer. Yeah. Okay, it's been 10 minutes for our rice. And you'll see that it's still in its form, okay? It's already looking nice and fluffy. So make sure you mix it well. That way you avoid any of your uh, sticking on the bottom. You're doing a gentle stirring, right? You're yep, not... just like a little gentle fold. Mm -hmm. So what I like to do now is that's when I add the other half cup of my water. It can be cold or warm water, whatever you please, it's still gonna work perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch back and let this continue to cook for um, 10 minutes and by that time our food will be ready, yes. okay? Okay, so let me mix my shrimp just a little bit more. They're all pretty much cooked. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my sauce. Y la vamos a hacer sauce. Boom, boom, sauce. Yes, look at that. Oh my goodness. Save some more of my chile water. I don't like to leave anything behind. Okay, so you want to give that a good, good mix. I currently have my uh, stove top on a medium low. And you want to be very careful because you don't want any of this to uh, splatter all over you or anything like that, okay? This next step is going to be optional, but I definitely feel that it adds a really delicious smoky flavor to this. Maybe not so traditional, but it's comfortable for my home. So I'm going to add a little bit of uh, chipotle. So if you don't want the full chipotle, you can add Maybe um, just a little bit of the chipotle juice. You know, just a little bit to give it a flavor. Make sure you look in the description if you guys want this really spicy. Cause you know I have to make, I have to make it somewhat friendly for my family. Meaning the little ones, which they do well with Korean spice and they're getting there with their Mexican spice. Speaking of little ones, shout out to Emily Castañeda, who's eight years old and doesn't miss one single views on the road video. Woo! Oh yeah, I love it. All ages here. Yes, yes. Parents, if you need me to tone it down, because I know Cloud and I, but this is comadreando. The kids love listening to the comadres talk, right? This is extra toned down. <laughs> yeah, it really is. I don't is. know how else to tone, tone my behavior. This is as toned as I can get, for real. <laughs> yeah. So, once you mix it well and you see that it's bubbling, go ahead and taste your broth, okay? Ay, mija. Taste that. Mmm, that chile is amazing. Isn't, isn't it? it amazing? All I'm gonna do is sprinkle a little bit more salt mm -hmm. and once it boils and you taste it and you need more salt, go ahead and add a little bit of more salt, okay? That's amazing, girl. Amazing. Let me get you a clean spoon for your next taste test. 
because you have a hundred of these. There you go. Yes, thank you. You're <laughs> welcome. I know I like to taste with my teaspoons, <laughs> literally the teaspoons yep. and the uh, Korean wooden spoons. Did you put any on the Amazon link for these? Because I get asked about I the did. Korean spoons a lot. I did. Oh, we, I ordered you a fresh new batch too. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. I go through them a lot. Uh, okay, friends. So while this is boiling, one of the things I want to say to you guys is if you like cilantro and you're a fan like me, uh, when you turn it off, that's when you would add it. You can even add a little bit of green onion on the top to make it even like, ooh, stand out a little bit more for yourselves. But this is just gonna cook for another uh, five, eight minutes until our rice is ready, and then I'm just gonna serve. This reminds me of our, our version of duck boki. The sauce, I don't know, for some reason. I that's what you got it. from the flavor? Uh -huh. Ooh. I think the duck boki is sweeter. Girl, I have so many fusion dishes with duck boki sauce. Yes, you do. And Bebe loves it. There's one that we've been fighting on. Cloud thinks you guys aren't gonna like the one that I do, and I think you guys are. But I don't know if you guys are up for fusion food because you guys know that once I do fusion, I get attacks from left and right. Yep. I really do. People tend to be very um, opinionated about me in the comments. Not recently, you guys have it under control. Shout out to my views, Clevo, yeah! <laughs> All right, friends, so let me clear out a little bit. Um, our rice is almost done and so are our shrimp so I'll see you guys shortly and then I'll show you guys the rice how it turned out okay okay friends our rice is ready it's nice and fluffy and that's our rice nice fluffy not mushy rice and this rice right here is amazing for fried rice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so that's what we have. So let me go ahead and serve this so that we can taste it. Yay! Now that I showed you how to make them, let's go ahead and taste. Claude, I'm gonna put some in a little plate for you because I don't want you to feel left out that I'm hovering over the food. I don't feel left out. This is my second serving of food. No more. <laughs> Let me go ahead and make sure that you get that's the it. first that's it, that's serving. It. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. I'll wait. My... I'll wait to hear what you have to say about it. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. You like? I'm doing the shack dance when he shakes his head like that. Oh, really? really? Okay. Oh. All right, she did the shack dance. Delicious. That means that it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, friends, I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you're new to the channel and you like our chit chat and the way we give you our recipes, make sure to subscribe, click that bell for notifications, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Adios. Okay. No los probar. Sí, sí los voy a probar, pero no me gusta que me anden diciendo que no te cuido. Si yo te quiero mucho, you know. I feel your love. I don't care what anybody says. Can you feel the love tonight? Like, I would never mm. take care of you. Like, you kidding me? Mm. I've been cooking for you since I was little. Mm -hmm. I mean, you cook like that good stuff, but my experiments have been cooking for you. Yep, and I love it. Ooh, this is so good, girl. Girl, me puedo volver a casar. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Delicioso. You're right, this is like the Mexican dog pokey. Mm-hmm. We're gonna put some rice chips in it next time. Mm-hmm. Yes, girl. So good. The rice is fluffy too. I mean I get it, but not that mm -hmm. difficult to make good rice. I make I probably make a hundred cups of rice and still hook it up. Okay, mm-hmm.